Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Vince Candela with Fox 6 in Milwaukee. When we're on the ground, we can feel the wind hitting us in the face. We get an idea as to how fast it might be and what's going on with wind speed and wind direction. But when it comes to the wind aloft, thousands of feet above us, we sometimes have to look to the sky for clues. Although on a day like this, we can't tell much. Now, of course, one way to, to check on the sky conditions is from the ground looking up. Another way, though, is to use the satellite images from outer space. And in this particular example that I'm showing you here, Wisconsin is totally shrouded in clouds, so that doesn't tell us too much. But look out here across the New Mexico and Colorado border. You can see a little spin right here in the clouds. That's an upper level and surface low pressure center turning in a counterclockwise direction. You can also see other arcs of clouds here that might represent the jet stream or the winds aloft. Now on some days when there are less low clouds we can see some of the higher clouds and that can give us a clue as to what's going on with the winds aloft. Now in this particular example over southeast Wisconsin this was a day with a lot of blue sky but some of these high thin cirrus clouds made of ice crystals they're found very high up in the atmosphere. On this particular day there was a strong core of jet stream winds blowing overhead up around 30,000 feet the wind speed over 100 miles per hour but embedded within that strong core of winds is something called a transverse circulation where we actually get winds that sort of rotate around that central core so aloft you've got lift on one side of the jet stream and if there's enough moisture aloft that lift helps to create this very unusual and very pretty cirrus cloud pattern. Here's another way to look at that. We'll use a empty paper towel uh, holder to show it. Let's say this is the fastest core of wind right in here. The wind is coming in, it's speeding up and then slowing down a little bit on the way out. So here's your fastest core. Within this fast core of jet stream winds aloft you might actually have a transverse circulation. So in there, the winds might be circulating in this direction around the fast core of jet stream winds, and that's causing some lift right in here. And if there, again, if there's enough moisture aloft, it'll create that very interesting cirrus cloud pattern. And here you can just literally see, almost in this particular area, where you're seeing some of that lift. Very pretty, and again, a result of that strong jet stream wind. Never know when an empty paper towel dispenser will serve as a, as a good prop. That's it for your weather notes. I'm Vince Candela. Hope to see you on Fox 6 News.